The temporomandibular joint is actually quite a complex joint. It uh, involves both of the sides of the lower jaw and how it articulates with the base of the skull. Uh, because of the complex nature of the joint, uh, there's a significant number of people that do have problems uh, with the joint itself in and around it. And uh, this complex nature also makes it a little difficult at times to diagnose and to treat. In regards to temporomandibular joint pain, or a lot of lay people call it TMJ, it is uh, multifactorial in its causes. A lot of times uh, it is a multiple uh, number of, uh, of causes all happening at the same time. You can have muscle issues, you have internal joint arrangements, and a lot of these play a role in the diverse symptomatology. Uh, in regards to symptoms, that can range anywhere from muscle pain, joint pain, uh, increased pain on function, headaches, and uh, even muscle fatigue in the facial muscles. In regards to the temporomandibular joint dysfunction, because there are so many variables that plays a role in the manifestation of the symptoms, uh, the important part is diagnosis uh, and accurately being able to tell which of these variables is playing the biggest role in the temporomandibular joint symptoms. Uh, because of this, sometimes the diagnosis process can be an extended uh, period of time where you may meet with the doc more than once uh, to isolate the variables and to address them one at a time. Uh, treatments also therefore can be very, very uh, extensive in the options. Uh, generally, we like to start with more conservative options. Number one, uh, they're not invasive. Uh, they're a lot easier for the patient to deal with in general. And also, they have proven over a long period of time to be just as effective as some of the more invasive procedures. Uh, because of this, it seems pretty uh, common sense that you would try to be as conservative as possible as long as you achieve the goals you're looking for.